Um, the house is well on the way to being complete uh, now, I think. Uh, what's happened? The, uh, this is the place where the previous occupant played Go, or Igo in Japanese. And what we've done is we've left it with its uh, original uh, curvy ceiling. It's like a womb. Um, uh, except that instead of having glass um, sliding doors, it's now got a wall. And this will be my office. And the nice thing about it is that I can come in and out without um, disturbing the rest of the family just straight out into the open through its own door so it's separate from the rest of the house, the offices and originally it was designed so that the previous occupant I think could accept visitors where he'd play this uh, game of goal I've kept the goal board the goal board's in that closet there um, so I can play goal too but I'll mainly do it for sort of English language teaching preparation in there and uh, this used to be two rooms and a uh, engawa or um, a corridor of sorts along the outside of the house but what we've done with this is completely is this into one large new living room and this here underneath the, poly, uh, the polythene is a fitted kitchen which will be fitted in um, this area of the room this area of the room will be kitchen and the rest will be uh, the living room which looks out onto the pile of uh, wood but it will look out into the garden and uh, here will be a stove, uh, the, the refrigerator won't go there, that'll go over in the kitchen. So this is going to be the living room kitchen. It's about 22 tatami mats in size, I think, or a bit more, but I'm not sure. And this area will be the master bedroom, uh, which is about, I don't know how big it is, 14, uh, 20 tatami mats. And again, it's uh, got a window out onto the outside world there, uh, onto the city. Uh, unfortunately, there's no windows into the... Uh, one day, we'll open a window in that wall there so we can see the, um, the mountain. This has become a very small uh, room. It used to, as I say, have a, um, a uh, glass sliding door here. And also, there used to be glass sliding doors there as well through what used to be the kitchen. But now it's just become a small room. And this, when the children get bigger and want their own rooms, either we'll put one of them in this tiny room here, or more likely, this will become our bedroom. Uh, just enough, big enough for a bed, we'll just sleep there. And uh, we'll divide the large bedroom here into two so that May and Ray can have their own room. And I'm not sure which way we'll divide it, but down the middle in one or other direction. Uh, here is um, the corridor through to the bathroom which will remain pretty much the same and what used to be the kitchen will be a large walk-in closet and we'll keep all our clothes there we're a very uh, naked family we all uh, sort of just come out of the bath and come out of the bath have the washing machine here wash our clothes and all our clothes every one of us until um, our daughter gets embarrassed will uh, change and keep their clothes there weird perhaps I'm not sure but it's all very convenient for the housewifery and that's about it, really. Um, uh, it used to have an outdoor um, cupboard there, but uh, we decided at the last minute that we didn't need an outdoor cupboard, so we're going to make that corner of the house part of the house rather than an outdoor cupboard, and it'll be uh, a, a cupboard from that uh, column to the corner of the house will so become an interior cupboard. And this is going to be ceilings like the rest of the house there. And it's all going to be uh, these screw, screw marks, apparently. They're all going to be filled with putty. And it'll be up to us to paint it all white, which, which is what we'll do. Uh, we were originally going to leave the columns wooden, but we've been persuaded to, um, to uh, cover them with uh, plasterboard in this area uh, because they've got lots of holes in them. And they'll stand out like these holes. I think you're just filling in the holes and... But uh, we're going to uh, make sort of white columns like that uh, in this room here. And that's about it. Yeah, so nearly done, really. It's all looking quite professional. Well, it should do. Um, it cost about as much as the house cost to have it reformed. But it doesn't look all that different, really, in a way. Haha. <laughs> but uh, it's very, very strong. And we did find that there's quite a lot of problems with the floor underneath there. And now it's all got completely new foundations and we could uh, have 
I don't know, punk rock, um, pogoing dances all over the floor in every room to, into our um, dotage, and it would be fine. Now through there's the bathroom, not there. Yeah, so almost finished, and I'm going to university.